Want to improve your focus so you can get more done and be more productive? Hi, I'm Lori from LoriThayer.com, and today we are talking about ways to maintain your focus. And we are at the third in a three-part series. And first, we talked about knowing where your time is going. Second, we covered out how to work in focused blocks of time with the Pomodoro technique. And then today, we're looking at how to block out sites that distract you. So. I sourced this article that's going to give us a bunch of these sites that are going to help us. And what's neat is that they help in different ways, right? And we may not all have the same issue we're trying to solve with how different sites um, distract us, right? But we've all had those times when we get on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and it, it just, we lost two hours, right? <laughs> So the first app that they're sharing with us is antisocial. And that's, you know, if a lot of these social media sites um, block, you know, cause you to lose your focus because you're there and it's, you just lost those two hours, right? So you can choose time blocks from 15 minutes to eight hours um, where you just, you can't access those sites. <laughs> oh, I like this too. The only way to sneak around it is by rebooting your computer altogether. So that's hardcore. That's if you know, it's like, I need some tough love. <laughs> Block it entirely. And so 30 social networking sites that it blocks for you. Yep. And you can add sites to the list. So right, if you find yourself on Amazon, so it costs something. But if you, you know, it's like, I need a hardcore solution. This might be for you. Second here, the app they're telling us about is Concentrate. Okay, free trial, $29. <laughs> Looks like it gives you a lot of options to choose what you want, and it's kind of interesting too, like, you know, uh, if you know you like to write with Pandora for background music, you can even set it up. That's interesting. That'll like you open the Word doc and it'll um, open up, you know, some other sites that you use along with it, like Pandora or Thesaurus. Thesaurus. So that's really interesting. It'll even change your chat status. Focus Booster here is another app. That, so this is one we talked about yesterday as well with the Pomodoro technique. So that's interesting too. So this one is actually just about the Pomodoro technique. It doesn't look like it actually blocks any other sites for you. So I'm actually surprised it's on this list. Focus writer. So some, some of these are geared towards writers, but so if you know, you've got a bunch of writing, it looks like it's, you know, graying other things. So you can't, it won't distract you. So that's a, an interesting try, you know, different, and that one's free. So if you just want to give this technique a little bit of a shot, these, these free options are be, are a great way to get that started. Okay. Self-control. Oh, so again, kind of like the first one we looked at, you can't get out of your predetermined timing session. So if you say, I want 45 minutes, you know, it's not. Well, that's interesting. Not even by rebooting. So this is uber hardcore. I thought that social agent was hardcore. This one is, is there's no way we are getting out of it. Now what's, what's interesting is, you know, that's going to be true for your computer, but we all have smartphones generally, right? Or iPads or Android devices, whatever we have. And so if you really want to goof off and waste time, you're going to still be able to get out your smartphone. But if this will kind of fool you, fool you into that, <laughs> maybe it'll work for you. So stay focused. Websites only. So it's just going to limit how many times per day. So this could be interesting too. It's like, oh, you know, I want to be able to access Facebook, but I don't want to be on there for two hours. So you could maybe say 30 minutes a day is what I want. And then once you hit that limit, you can't get it for the rest of the day. Oh, you can also block subdomains, which is cool, or specific pages. So you can you can get a little a lot more detailed in what you want to block. Looks like there are workarounds, right? If you try sneaking back on, 
<laughs> it's going to guilt trip you. <laughs> so it's not hardcore, right? Like the previous one where you can't do it no matter what, but it'll try and guilt trip you. Again, that one's free. Two others, Time Out and Smart Break. So again, this is kind of, um, they're reminding you to take break. So you know what I like about this list is different solutions for the different issue because your issue may not be that I need to maintain focus. It might be I gotta get up and move around once in a while. And you know what? That those breaks do help us with our focus because we get up, we move our body, we stretch, we get some water, and another coffee, whatever we need. Um, but some some of these these apps that help remind you for that are really going to help you be more focused and more productive in the long run because they do remind you to take a break. And I've talked about how before, how when I work remote at my job, I barely get up and move. So something like this would be good for me to make sure I'm just getting up and moving around the house some so I don't become all stiff and then just really stuck, right? You know, keeping the blood flowing keeps the brain working optimal optimally. <laughs> Okay, the next two apps are Sound Curtain and White Noise. Okay, so these are for your mobile, which is good, right? Because we've had a lot of options for the web. Okay, so this is this one is trying to help you block out a noisy work environment. Now, I haven't tried these. These are kind of interesting. I actually have noise canceling headphones that I can use at the office but this is interesting. The white noise one is free. Sound curtain does have a cost. So those are really interesting too. So those are going to block sound and help you focus. So part of what you have to ask yourself and why we talked first about knowing where you are right now and kind of tracking it is knowing what kind of a solution you need. And you can feel free to try it all of these options. There are a lot of great ways to help you maintain your focus, but you kind of got to know what is the problem that's causing me to not have the focus I want in the first place. So check these out, give it a try. I will add a link to the article so you can come and find all these specific apps and have fun being more productive.